Traffic Generation Strategies Category Number 1 Direct Traffic to Your Link The golden rule of online marketing is simple. To make money, you have to drive traffic and convert it. Follow the strategies listed below. This category of traffic basically means you buy traffic and you dump it directly to your affiliate link. You don't redirect. You don't create content with your affiliate link embedded in the content. Instead, you buy traffic and you pump it directly to your link. Facebook Ads and Google Ads Two great examples of this category of traffic are Facebook Ad Buys and Google AdWords Keyword Buys. In the case of Facebook, you buy traffic directly to a link, you add a picture and a short description. You then target certain populations on Facebook and make certain guesses regarding interest profiles. On Google AdWords, you select keywords with a high level of intent involving your niche. These keywords indicate a high willingness to buy whatever it is you're promoting. You run the campaign so you can see whether you are getting a high volume of clicks or not. To do this right, you should use redirect domains with tracking. This means that when you take out an ad on Facebook or other websites, you use a domain that actually redirects to the affiliate link. This is not always possible. Make sure you follow the terms of service of the places you're buying traffic from. Redirect your domain so your affiliate sponsor doesn't steal your traffic from under you. You also need to use targeting URLs. These URLs are very sensitive to how people click your link. It would try to track the keyword that produced the click. It would also pay attention to the browser details of people clicking from Facebook. Whatever the case may be, when you use tracking URLs, you can make educated guesses as to which ad buys led to sales. Pro, you can get lots of traffic immediately. Con, you cannot launch a big-time campaign right out of the gate. Don't do that. You might end up spending tremendous amounts of money and then having very little to show for it. You need to run small tests and make a lot of minor adjustments until you can see which platforms produce traffic that actually converts. You can also modify the way you describe your link as well as other factors to maximize your click-through, and then, after that, maximize conversions. Direct traffic requires a multi-step process. You may have to spend quite a bit of money optimizing. What makes this really problematic is that even after you've spent a lot of time, effort, and money, there's still no guarantee that you will generate a profit. Direct blogger or authority site outreach. Pay a blogger or an administrator of an authority website to publish your content. Your content has links in it. The link can go to a redirect domain, or it can go to an intermediary page, or it can go directly to your affiliate sponsor. You need to make sure that the blog or authority you're getting your content published on is in the same niche as the offer that you're promoting. Ask for a test buy. Negotiate your best price. It's crucial that you use a tracking URL for your affiliate link. Maybe you should tie it with a redirect domain so you can tell where your traffic is coming from. Buy more content placements from the places that send you the most conversions. You can optimize your placements from places that send you a lot of traffic, but ultimately, if they can't convert, you should drop them and focus on conversions. Pro, the great thing about this approach is that you get relevant traffic. These are eyeballs that are directly interested in your niche. You also get to condition how they respond to your affiliate link. Your content can qualify them for the sale. Also, you may want to focus on getting them on your mailing list before you sell them affiliate products. Con, you probably would have to spend quite a bit of time and money experimenting with many different third-party publishers until you reach a handful that sends consistent sales. You also have to negotiate for the best pricing. Influencer Outreach On places like Instagram, Twitter, YouTube, and Facebook, there are influential users. These are people who run Facebook pages, or they are admins of Facebook groups. These are people who have their own YouTube video channels. Don't get hung up on the number of influencers' followers. Focus instead on how engaged and how loyal their followers are. Make sure that they share the same niche as you. Ask for a test buy and pay very little for the test publication of your context, text, link, photo, or video, depending on platform, on their pages. Once the results are in and it turns out that these influencers can actually deliver traffic and conversions, you can start negotiating a best price for a long-term relationship. Pro. The big advantage of influencer outreach is you are reaching out to people who are already experts or authorities in certain niches. You end up piggybacking on their credibility and authority. Con, you may have to spend quite a bit of money running small tests with influencers until you identify personalities who can actually deliver results. The good news is that even if certain influencers charge a lot of money, 
If the ROI is there, they would be worth it. You have to do extensive research. To save time and effort, I would suggest that you hire a virtual assistant. There are so many influencers out there, you'll need help contacting them. Blogger or authority site outreach for mailing list building. With mailing list building blogger outreach, you are promoting your mailing list instead of trying to get content published. In other words, you're paying them to put your mailing list code on the content they publish. This can be a little bit tricky because some bloggers are very protective of their audience members. Others are very insecure or paranoid. Sharpen your negotiation skills. Pro, the great thing about this approach is that you get to source list members directly from your traffic source. In other words, there's no middle transition for the traffic. You get to leverage whatever credibility and authority your host has with their community. This can lead to higher conversion rates. Con, since you are advertising directly to these bloggers and authority site owners community members, they can feel a little bit paranoid. Usually, they would increase the amount of money they're asking for. The workaround here is to contact as many different bloggers and authority site owners as you can and try to get the very best price. Compare deals. And if you have a huge starting base to begin with, chances are you would get a lot of good deals. Experiment with those good placements and pick the very best and stick with those. For more free educational content, visit learnforfree.biz. Content produced and distributed by AllSuperInfo.